Fine, thanks, and you? Excellent, I'm fine, okay. thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we yes. can listen to well, you. I, I yes. can. <laughs> yes, here we are. How was your weekend? But I suppose that only you hear me. <laughs> no, it's okay. I don't know. Yeah, we all can listen to we you. Everybody say hello, Fer. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Can you hear me? Some of the complications. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Everything must pass. So relax. Everything is okay. okay. <laughs> All right, you know what? Today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic. And even let me tell you that it can be a bone of contention. A bone of contention is a topic that can cause any agree to disagree. People may fight because of their different opinions. And so we are going to talk about one of those. But I think that we are major people. I want you to remember that this is a conversation class. This is an English class. And so we don't care too much now about ideologies or uh, things like those. All right? Are you ready? So no fighting. Yeah, don't fight. Remember yes. that you love yes. and you don't want to, to be fighting in front of your beloved teacher. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. No drama, no panic, no Saturnalia. So look at this. Today's topic is about, about idol worship. And the question is, what do you worship? Okay. Mm, interesting. Mm. All right. So look at this. In the history of mankind, we observe that okay. in different cultures, there has been idol worshiping for example the ancient greek culture uh, used to worship uh, some gods semi-gods and some elements in nature for example do you remember some of the names of the greek gods and goddess and divinities for example zeus what who else who else um, Aphrodite. Okay. Yes, I think she has problems. I'm sorry. Here I am. Here I am. I'm so sorry. Yes, it was my internet connection. Sometimes I feel that I hate the internet and sometimes I love it. But anyway, <laughs> here I am. All right. Yes, as I told you before, here... Uh, do you remember some of the Greek the divinities and gods and goddess? Hello. Yeah, like for, ex Zeus, for example. Like Zeus, that's it. That's a very good example. Another one. Like Aphrodite. Uh, uh, um, Venus. No, no, no. Venus is Venus. a Roman. Venus was Roman. Yes. Okay, and look at this person. Well, is he a he, an it, a person, an animal? What is it? It looks like a minotaur to me. Yeah, ah, that's it. It is a fauna. Uh -huh, a faun. Faun. And I think that's how it's it's called. Yeah, that's it. And it belongs to the um, Roman? No. Uh, Greek? No. No, it's Greek. Yes. Culture. All right. He was supposed to be half a man, half an animal. And it was like a punishment that a goddess uh, sent to him as pill that a goddess sent to him. Kind of like that, wasn't it? All right, so please, could you, Mitzi, talk to us about something that you know about any any other culture, the Greek culture, 
the Egyptian culture, any any other? Well, one thing I remember because I used I used to to read a lot of uh, um, mythology, Aztec and Greek mythology. But something I remember is that, for example, sirens um, wasn't supposed to be half fish, half human. They were actually birds. Deers? And they, yeah, well, yeah, like big pigeons or something like that. Uh, birds. Yeah. Uh, yeah, birds. birds. And they, I mean, they, they serenade um, sailors, but they, they used to be um, singing near rocks or, or something like that. And then they just eat them, but they weren't fishes. They, they were birds. Yeah, they weren't fish. Aha, uh -huh. and they they were supposed to sing in a magical way so that they spell yes. sailors. Oh, Jesus, that's so interesting. All right, thank you. Anybody else? See, who is your victim? Um, this is this is oh, yes, Alan. Oh, uh, this is Alan. Uh, uh, I apologize for arriving a little late, but I was uh, I wasn't aware that this was my, my shuttle for my class. But I'm, I'm really happy to be here. Oh. The same happened to me. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Don't worry, Alan. We are very happy to listen to you now. And so, yes, Alan, could yeah, you so am I. Uh, so you were talking about mythology? Yeah. Yeah, we are talking about, well, something that you could comment what? about. You were talking about uh, mythology, like mythological um, creatures. Yeah. Yes, that's it. Could you talk to us anything that you know that you know about mythology of any other culture, whichever? Wouldn't be a And um, I'm a teacher, so one of my classes last week was about um, the Olympic Games. And mythology and, and mythical creatures are really closely uh, related to mythical goddesses and gods. Because uh, the Olympics were kind of designed by gods to prove human strength. But it was designed by them because they they were able to do a lot of the things that we, we cannot humanly do, you know, and 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 that's what really uh, God of the heavens. So that that's mm -hmm. my favorite uh, myth, mythological creature or God. Wow! Hey, that was really interesting. Thank you very much, Alan. Yes, that's great. All right, Alan, please. Talk to us. Yeah. Who's your victim? I mean, anybody that you would like to listen to. Oh, okay. So we're choosing victims. I, I like to do it. I feel <laughs> like, the, like the teacher over again. Yeah. Yeah, that's um, it. You have the power. Let me, let me check the list of, of the students we have here, my classmates. Uh, if you click uh, on participantes, you can see the list. Oh, yeah, I see them now. Um, some of them are, are muted. Am I allowed to pick them, even if they're muted? No, just say their names, and they will turn the microphones on. Okay. Uh, what about fur? All right. Thank you. you know anything about mythological creatures? Okay. Hi. Hi. Well, um, I don't know uh, a lot of this topic for day. I feel so curious about the Cyclops because I think they are a mythological creature and they are so mysterious because I, I read about uh, the third eye, 
that everybody has, but I suppose that the Cyclops has, uh, has more developed the, that uh, eye. And for me, it's so interesting to know more about that. But this topic is so difficult to me because I can read it, uh, a lot of things about mythological creatures because I think that, uh, I don't know, I really, I never read uh, about this topic and it's new for me. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know what, it is very interesting. I have to be honest, I started reading about mythology because of my children. When my eldest son was a little boy, he was very interested in the Greek uh, culture because of a cartoon he was watching Caballeros del Zodiaco. And so, oh, yeah. <laughs> started talking to me about the constellations about, about the gods and goddess and i didn't know what to say so i bought a, a book about it it was called the theogony and so we learned together about this topic for me it was something so nice because it was not only interesting but also i it was a topic that i could share with my son so he was six years old uh, nowadays he likes very much to research and to look for different topics that he's interested in so uh, that's why i i like to to talk about it and well i know a little about it but yes sometimes we don't have the time for reading about some topics that by the moment are not very relevant uh, sometimes for our careers. All right, so Fer, who's your victim? Okay, let me check. Uh, Alex. Thank you. You're welcome. Alex, hello. Are you there? Hello, I'm <laughs> great. Hey, I'm okay. Here. Talk to us, Alex, about what you know about any culture. It doesn't matter if it is not uh, the Greek culture or the Egyptian. Maybe you know anything about. Well, yes. No, I am the same, like, what's her name? Me. Fair. Fair. Uh, no, no, the one, the one that says that she just, she didn't know about it, <laughs> anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was fair, yeah. Uh, okay, fair. Yes. Yeah, well, this is my first time in this group. Um, I, I have heard a lot of general names like, uh, Or yeah. Hello, are you there? Can you hear me? And, and that I can talk to that, that I can talk about in our in our Mexico. Probably you remember the Aztec worship worship it yes. or uh, which is mostly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's I don't it. Know what else, I don't know what else to add. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Thank you very much, Alex. All right, Alex, who's your victim? Uh, I don't know. I don't know who's left. Uh, uh, Erica? Okay, yes, thank you. Okay. Erika, hello. Hi, good night. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Good evening. But I, I think that you were talking about natural disasters, something like that, related to good gods. Uh, or... 
It, well, today's topic is about idol worship. How uh, about mean plant? Okay. Plant yeah, plant. so could you talk to us about any mythology facts that you know? It doesn't matter if it is not uh, any other that we have talked about today. Anything that you know, for example, about... Well, I... I fear, or maybe I don't like too much to talk about this kind of gods because I I have fear about Medusa, for example. Ah, um, you are imagine that, and suddenly you look back, and that woman is watching to you, and you become a, a statue. A uh, statue. Or I don't remember exactly. Yes, stone or something like that. So it's terrible. Maybe that kind of powerful sight, or I don't know how can I say um, when you can convert with only when you look at something or somebody into rock. It's, oh my! It's for me. It's terrible. That's I can scary. imagine that it happened today. And many things just to complex or something to to um great be grateful with him. Aha, uh -huh, so that's we don't like, we don't should think in that kind of idols like a faraway history because to today it's a reality. Oh yes, of course. Maybe not not a woman, but it's a volcano, so it's more powerful than a woman. Yeah, that because become a rock. So yeah. that's for me a uh, um, uh, very impactant. I don't know. How impressive. Can I say? Very impressive. Very yeah, impressive uh, kind of of mythological idols. Other idol that I could maybe admire is, um, it's not an idol, um, but could um, be. Um, here in Puebla, there is a little statue in a house that maybe that house was built when the um, Spaniards come to Puebla. And up in the top of the corner of that house is a little image from a kind of mixture between uh, some kind with Filoposky, if you want, but with, um, with fascia, facial. Facial? Um, I can rasgos. Facial uh, facial yeah. features. Like uh, facial expressions? Yes, like from Span Spaniards. So it's a mixture between an idol and uh, something different, but an story historiator. How can I say historiador? Storytellers. Um, tell us that it is uh, similar that with Silopostli, but between Spaniards and all ancient Aztecs. It's wild, but it's interesting. It's in a street that was made by rogues, by river rogues. So it's only peatonal, maybe. Pedestrian. pedestrian. It's for pedestrian, that street. But in the near nearhood, it's a hospital and a chapel. So it's interesting. It's yeah, too much. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much, Erika. You know what? We haven't heard Effie yet. Effie, are you there? It's all in, tell, telling us that it was an ancient idol, but he don't know exactly the name. 
Y ahí giras. Entonces, esa mixture, esa, uh, um, like an alebrije, but idols. It's a Ajá. mixture. Hey, that's so interesting. Yes. Well, yes, it's interesting. thank you very much, Erika. You know what? We You're are welcome. missing. All right. We are missing Effie. Effie is missing. So, Effie, what do you think about this? Well, I I find really, really interesting all that information about these uh, different cultures. But something that I can tell you that and also I I uh, find very similar between them is the fact that all the the, the these cultures uh, give a lot of importance in the care of nature with the the use of these um, gods and that's something that i i find um very good because they talked that when we that when they care about the the nature and all the environment they got good results in 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 the the place where they so that's something that i i like about this topic uh -huh, that's it. That's very interesting. But you know what? Um, something that for me is also very interesting is that many of the beliefs are related. They are similar in any point. So some, uh, some towns used to believe in nature, in elements, and to give any powerful, any magical strength to all of those powers. So well for me that was so so attractive all right so who's missing we have heard everybody i guess but no i don't think so nixie have you no, talked no teacher no samuel no. what samuel and nixie no. we are yeah we are missing samuel and nixie samuel no i already oh, yeah ah then it's only samuel i mean i I can keep saying things, but I already <laughs> spoke. Yeah, okay. right. So, Samuel, please. Okay, well, I I don't know many things about um, gods. In the, when I was in the high school, maybe I read a lot of information about uh, Greek gods, but right now I don't remember anything. But um, the other day I was seeing a video about India, and you know, in India they have a lot of gods, and I don't remember the name of the goddess, but she she is a rat. And when you are in India and you go to the rat uh, temple, is it correct? Yes, temple. Rat temple. <laughs> that sounds funny. <laughs> well, Here we when you are. go there, um, you can see how the rats die. And the Indians think that when a rat die, dies it becomes to a human and when a human dies uh, he becomes to a rat it's very strange i'm not agree with that yeah idea. Dude. With the belief. indians believe that maybe the the human is immortal and you can be rat and human and rat and human it's, it's, it's just a cycle yes <laughs> But well, uh, Indians are very strange about their, um, how can I say, creencias? Uh, beliefs. 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 Oh, thank you. Thank you. About their beliefs. Yeah, that's it. You know what? I don't want to be a rat. That was so touching to me. 
<laughs> I am scared of rats. I'm afraid. I mean, but, I am scared of rats. But when you when you go to the temple, the the people is uh, sorry. Who can I say convivir? Spending sharing. time. Mm. Yeah. How how to? Yeah, they are sharing. Okay. The people can share uh, can share uh, time with the rats and even uh, you can drink the same water that is for rats. It is oh, well, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know how the Indians can do it. Yeah, I just I just heard that whenever you go into that temple, you you, you even you have to take your shoes off. For yes. you don't know, for you, you do not hurt the rats. So yeah, there's a big possibility that you can get hurt or bitten by the rats, but you cannot do anything to them because that's <laughs> kind of a sin, right? Yeah, that's it. Because yes, they I are... don't agree with that. Oh my, yeah, that's so interesting. And well, that's part of some other cultures. But yes, as you said, maybe for us it is kind of like difficult to believe or like in a, unacceptable because we have some other ideas. Uh, but well, in my personal point of view, I don't like rats. I wouldn't be, I couldn't be drinking in the same place that they do. Oh, hmm. all right. Well, this is about rats and there are some other animal worshiping. Uh, could you mention any, for example, here we have the the Hindu people also uh, about worshiping cows. Uh, have you heard yes. about it? Yes, I I think that you cannot eat meat in some parts of of India. India, mm -hmm. but it is strange. You cannot eat uh, meat of cow. But you can eat meat of goat, cabra. Is it mm -hmm. goat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Goat. Yes. Yes. Is, is it very strange? And also, you can eat um, meat of buffalo. Uh -huh. And the Hindu people think that eat the uh, meat. but not a cow meat. I don't know if it is correct or she's... Uh, oh, sorry. I don't remember how, con how to say equivocado. Wrong. 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 Thank Thank you. You. That's okay. Yeah, no, I think that that's correct. So what about the others? What do you think about it? About the others, uh, the other what? <laughs> the, uh, what do you think about the secrecy of cows? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, what do you think about um, it? I think it's pretty difficult for us to be able to consider a cow sacred since we, because of our culture, we're really used to, to eat meat and pork and chicken, right? That's basically our diet here in Mexico. So it would be really hard for me to to be able to follow this culture. But at the time, if I lived in India, I would have to follow the rules because that's the culture, the code of, of the cultures that, the, of people who live in India, right? Yeah, you're right. I agree. I totally yeah. agree with you. But you know what? I, I have a friend who has been uh, studying some other religions, for example, the satsang, and he said that there, of course, it is a very common religion. And so people follow the rules very strictly. But for him, Hello? it's... What? A, I oh, don't know, a very something. Yeah, the satsang. I think she crashed. Oh. Yes, she had lost. Can hear her. <laughs> we, we didn't hear you for a while. Oh, yeah, I apologize for, for interrupting, but you were, when you were talking, it just got, uh, you were stuttering because of, of the connection issues, I think. Yes, I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening today. 
the the people who has been constant in classes knows uh, no i mean that it is not very frequent but today i don't know what happened with the internet connection in here but i'm sorry yeah all i don't right. have to worry about it um boys. all right thank you very much yes well i was telling to you about well i was telling you about a friend of mine who is studying some discipline some religious discipline uh, which is hindu it is called the satsang and he said that in that religion of course to eat cow is not permitted as all well, many in many indian uh, beliefs but they believe that if you want to see god then you have to stop eating meat but the problem is that if you are a person who has been an eat meter for uh, a time in your life and when you smell something you feel like eating it for example you go by a, a, a tacos business and you feel like eating then you lose the opportunity of being with god because of that reaction of the ancient of because you feel the temptation right uh, so it is for me it is extremely difficult because it is something that you can't control but anyway it's like, it's like whenever you have bad, like bad thoughts or maybe the temptation of doing something but you reconsider and just don't do it uh -huh. but if you think about it you're hitting the scene right yeah that's it so uh, from my point of view it was difficult because i said all right i have done for many years my biggest effort and suddenly it appears a reaction in my brain and I lose everything that I have won. So that's not fair. But anyway, all right. So you know what? I would like to talk to you. Well, I would like you to talk to me and talk everybody together, one each other, mm -hmm. about the necessity that people have to pray we all have the necessity okay. to believe in a in an almighty in a superior power and so we all need to feel the protection to ask for for help well but sometimes it is ridiculous so don't be exaggerated in your prayers but uh, look at this today's worshiping for me, this is the modern way of worshiping, of idolatry. And so, I don't know, what's your opinion about it? Nowadays, we worship our own image. We worship money. We worship material possessions. And there are some idolatry about devices, celebrities, or even sports. So, what's your opinion about it, Alan? What do you think about it? Um, I think humanity is being harming the uh themselves or ourselves because of all the inventions that we have created, you know, and because of this, uh, we have kind of driven the attention to other things that are way less important than than what really is important for us which is enjoying life and some people is just caged in, 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 a, in maybe in a room or in a house try to be try to try to project the best image they can about themselves it is really common for us to just take a selfie and upload it to Facebook and wait for the reactions uh, from people for people to come and yeah I like it or you look you look beautiful when you should be able to just look at the mirror and say you look beautiful let's go out let's go let's let's go to a park or let's go to do exercise so i think that we're going from bad to worse at that at this point but we we can still like reverse the things that we have done wrong and that's my position related to the things that we worship today 
We have a lot of possessions and the more money we earn, the more possessions we try to get. So we, have, we, we really have to change this in order for us to really achieve happiness in life. Because happiness is not having whatever you want or the latest car or the new cell phone. Happiness is to be in peace with the people that surrounds you, surrounds you, you know? That's, that's the, the concept of happiness for me. And uh, when we talk about God, um, I'm not really a, that kind of a religious person because I, I, I don't like praying, to be honest. But I think that somehow God is going to see me or is going to be watching me if I do good and bad things. So I rather just helping somebody with something that they need help with and do just the good in my society. Try to help people to solve the problems. And, and that's the way I, I pray. You know, that's my method for praising my God. Hey, that's great. Thank you mm -hmm. very much. That was so interesting, so sensible. Thank you very much, Alan. All right, Alan, please Thank tell you. me. Who's your victim? I would like to hear a little bit more from Samuel. Thank you. Okay, okay. Well, I I'm agree with Alan. And I think that he has been losing the belief of God. And every day there are more atheums. But I think that they are not the problem. The problem is that the human uh, believe that he is all. Uh, we have developed a, a lot of technologies and a lot of things. And in uh, some manner, we think that we have all the power to do anything. And also the problem is that we worship other humans or maybe the creation of, the, of another humans. And I think that it is a problem for the society. I think that you can, you can like a, a lot of things, but you cannot worship a thing. I mean, a uh, cell phone, uh, the money, or even uh, you can you cannot uh, worship. Sorry, who can I say? Adorarse uno mismo. Um, worship yourself, ourselves. Yeah. Ourselves. Okay, thank you. We cannot worship ourselves. I think that it is very bad for the human. We have to be humble. And if you don't believe in anything, I mean, if you don't believe in any God, you have to be humble and have the respect about the beliefs of the other people. It is hey. my opinion. All right. Thank you very much. All right. So, uh, please, who's your victim? Okay. Um, Mixi. Thank you. Okay. Well, I think that worshiping and praying or just the belief in a superior being is something that it is thought to us. You you don't you don't have or I think that you don't have that inherent um, necessity for worshiping something but i also think that um that worshiping other things besides your main god or whatever it's also something that has always been here it's always have happened that's why we used to have gods for vanity and gluttony and lust because we have always had that part that egocentrical part in us and i don't know yeah that's, that's wh why i think that's what you think thank you very much mitzi all right mitzi who's your victim mm, let me see 
Mm. Erika. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> well, I think that our problem is the um, marketing. So we need things that we maybe never use again, only one use things and that's our problem because we buy a lot of things, a lot of stuff that we can use properly. So we only are generating trash, garbage, and a lot of electronic um, contamination because we buy the most popular cell phone, the most popular laptop, the most popular um, TV, and we reach a lot of things by offered by TV shows like creams or exercise um, uh, machine, exercising, uh, I don't know, the world of training, training stuff and maybe food that is super healthy food, but in fact there is not super healthy food and we can uh, be become sick because there are not studies about that kind of food or vitamins or um, um, dietary supplements or things like that. So we have other kind of idols, maybe more dangerous than before because um, at the pre-Hispanic time there were only the um, maybe the god of sun or something like that. But now we have the the gold, the money, the addictions, the caffeine, the alcohol idols, or maybe other kind of idols like post everything on Facebook or in maybe send a lot of pictures or not very fiable information about uh, news and other stuff by WhatsApp. So um, we are avoiding to have human contact with people by technology because mm, we have new idols like be famous on internet or be a YouTuber or things like that. So for me, they are more dangerous than before. And maybe we have not uh, um, salvation about um, this kind of idols because society uh, don't help, <laughs> didn't help us to reach our purifying souls without that kind of stuff. Because every day, every moment, we have new kind of idols. And in fact, when you are watching TV, you look, you watch a lot of, um, I forgot to say, announcements and advertisements. And Yes, and that kind of advertisement shows you that there could be a perfect life if you buy that dietary soda or if you buy that um, that book of some popular writer or things like that. And that's not true because Maybe if you buy that, you never feel uh, completely full. Your soul will be empty. You need contact with another humans. You need uh, to 
smell the flowers, not to buy things. You need to feel the uh, air into your lungs. So that's that I think about idolatry, the new types of or kinds of idols in our lives. It's a problem, a big, big problem, but we should deal with them in any way. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. All right. Tell me, who's your victim? Who's next? Hello? Anybody else? Who's missing? We have a lot of people missing, but it makes you got to pick uh, the next person who's going to talk. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, then, I have to pick one now. If you want to participate, go ahead, please. No, I don't want. <laughs> I don't want. <laughs> All right. You know what? Yes. <laughs> yes. Anybody else? Also, my battery is dying. So even if I wanted to, I think I don't have. I have time enough. All right. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Oh. Yes, please. Okay. Well, I I think about this topic and I think that a lot of people here in the world think that uh, to have more material things, if they are if they have more material things, they are more uh, intelligent per people. For example, uh, if I I've met a person who always use uh, clothes, like, uh, for example, a brand clothes. I don't know if it's correct. Yep. Uh -huh. A brand a brand clothes, and he... And uh, that make him uh, better somehow. Yes, he, think, he thinks that he is the best person in the world. And I, when you talk about with him, you say, oh, come on, you think is so different or you think like uh, teenager uh, people and he's older than me and that that is strange and I think that uh, people think that if they have more uh, economical things or more uh, material things they their value is harder but I, I believe or uh, and I think it's that bigger. It, it's bigger sorry I think that if, uh, for me, it's so wrong. I feel good with my, with my soul and with my life. And for me, it doesn't matter if I don't have a lot of material things. I feel good with my, with, by myself. It's I don't like the material things. Or, well, I like it because I <laughs> yeah. like all the, Let's be the, honest. All, all, all like, <laughs> Everybody is, but uh, for me, it's it's normal if I have a normal cell phone. I don't feel bad if I don't have an iPhone, for example. That's I feel it. good with my, with my cell phone, and I feel comfortable. But a lot of people, or more people, think that if you have an iPhone, you are the best person. That's yeah. it. All right. You know what? I think that uh, something of the very bad part of this game is that. Uh, we use the we use people and worship things. We should worship people and use things. That's the confusion. But well, I thank you so much for your attention. Well, it's, yes, I think we we shouldn't worship people uh, because, as, as you said um, earlier, sometimes we worship like um, I don't know footballers or the pope or an actress or an, an an actor and i don't think we should worship them i mean we have to be proud of them and and, and and we we should take something like an 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 inspiration but not to worship those people yeah, yeah you're Those, right I think. I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, you're right. 
Well, yes, I, I uh, said that in the sense of um, uh, not to worship. Yes, that was not the most correct. But we should appreciate more people and love than objects. Yeah. But well, yes, uh, I think that it is something about the, but the biggest problem of humanity. But well, I thank you so much for your attention, for your attendance, and of course, of your participation. So meet you next class. Have a very good week and enjoy yourselves. Right. You too. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you for you. this session. Good when, night. When, Bye, you all. When Thank are we you. having the next session? Uh, um, every, Sunday. Every Monday. Well, we have two sessions. If you can't be in the uh, Monday session, you can be in the Sunday one. It is Sunday 8 p.m. You can yes, attend. That's why one. I thought. Yeah, so yes, you can be in one of them. Uh, whichever it could be more uh, comfortable for you. Can we be in both? Yes. Yes, of course. Okay, great. Um, thank you for uh, allowing us to practice our speaking because I think it's one of the most important parts of our, of our learning process. Yes. And, and you know what? This is, the, well said. this is the only human contact that you have in the course. So I think that it's very important uh, as, as, as you have already seen, uh, some of us commit a lot of mistakes about grammar, about vocabulary, about yes. usage, but I don't use to correct um, every single moment that you commit a mistake because what we want to create in this uh, class is fluency. And whenever we are correcting every single moment that we commit a mistake, we lose that fluency, that is um, confidence. So that's why I don't use to correct everything. Uh, whenever we write in the chat and we have the opportunity of giving feedback about uh, writing and spelling, I think that it is most, more proper. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Have a very good night and rest. Sleep tight. Thank you. Good night. Have a great Thank night, you. guys. See you. Good night. Good night, everyone. You don't see like anesthesia. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.